Your job is good. Like that kind of stuff. Welcome to Teach Me Pokemon Unite Edition. I'm Super Senpai, and today we're talking about the mystical, weird Cramoran. Look, if you're watching this video, you have no idea how to play Cramoran. And I'll be honest here, I still don't know how to play him either. Now, if you like memes, you like Cramoran. He looks like he just came from Snoop Dogg's mansion. <laughs> he is so hard to use, yet so rewarding when you pull it off. Cramoran is a pure special attacker. His goal is simple. He's gonna throw up on anyone he doesn't like. During the beta, I loved playing as him. Now, it's very hard to play him. In the beta, Cramorant actually had all his items at level 30. Now, I only have everything at level 10. So I'm having a very difficult time in ranked or online because people have upgraded the items far more harder than me because they pay to win. So it's really hard to really evaluate Cramorant from my perspective, but again, a pro Cramorant player could tell you otherwise how effective it is. So let's look at the stats. And it's expected as a special attacker. Special attack is pretty good, kind of tanky-ish. Skull is pretty simple, Blah, everyone. Gulp Missile only works if you use an attack that makes you wet. So Whirlpool, Dive, Surf, that's the only moves you can do that makes you wet, that makes you have the ability to, you know, Blah. I'm probably gonna do that for the rest of the video because there's no way I can really describe this in words. Sometimes it's Pikachu, sometimes it's Fish, it really depends, but like, I, I, can you throw up when you're dry? I, apparently Google says yes, I don't know. Anyways, basic attack. I feel like I don't need to explain this anymore. It's three times hits and the third one does more damage. That's about it. Your first two attacks are Whirlpool and Feather Dance. Whirlpool is the most important move you need first because that's how you know Ugh, that thing. And then Feather Dance decreases the attack damage to you and their speed. That's not really that important to be honest. I guess also to note Whirlpool progressively does damage over time but your goal is to make it wet. Mm -mm. Ooh, then you get Surf or Dive which is very important based on your playstyle. I personally love Surf. Surf is like uh, go away and then come back. That's how Surf works, because you push the Pokemon away, come back, and then you, uh, and then uh, when they hit you. Dive is basically, I'm coming for ya. Woo! And you do this every second, three times max before the reset. Air Slash and Hurricane are the other two choices you upgrade. I am not the biggest fan of Air Slash. You just push yourself back. I'd rather have Hurricane, because it keeps them stationary, so I can combo off with your Surf or Dive. And finally, the Unite move. This is the first time in the last videos that it actually is important. Your job is good! Yes. Like that kind of stuff, yeah. And um, you, you can't move, so you want to be make sure you're a stationary spot where your opponents can't really double team on you. That's the reason you play Grammaran. You love him for this exact move. It's, is Grammaran bulimic? It doesn't eat anything, I realize that. According to Pokedex, Grammaran has accidentally got a Pikachu lodged in his gut, and Grammaran is choking a little. But it doesn't really bother it. Dude, do you have fetish? Items. Surprisingly, as a ranger, because of how his moveset is, you need to get wet, you have to get into Pokemon, so you have to invest some effort into health or like, you know, tank tankiness to make sure like you don't die from the inter initial interaction. As for battle items, I always recommend eject button. It's just very easy situation for you to get in and get out. Also, X attack is very important too because you want to finish a job, this is how you do it. I also know some people use the Tail one? Oh, I'm so I'm so stupid if I don't remember the name. Laggy tail. But anyways, that one allows you to let jungle faster, and because of that, as a ranger, it's very beneficial for you. So all of these are factors you can put into to build a proper Cramorant for you. Now, how to play Cramorant? Early stage, get wet. Get the whirlpool as fast as you can, make everyone wet, start doing damage, and level up as fast as you can, and keep your distance. Because your goal is to make sure, keep distance, start dragging Pokemon over to your side, and then pop, 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 pop. You also want to try snipe killing. So when your opponents are trying to grind Pokemon, you want to wait till the last minute and start attacking it, so you get the kill and you get more experience for that. So you're kind of a sniper in this circumstance for special attacker, so you can level up fast. You also want to make sure that um, it is possible solo, but solo against a physical attacker. If you see another ranger, try to make sure it's like more on your base versus their side. If your opponent stays around their circle base to heal, it's very difficult for you to capitalize. So just move on and just try to stay around the range. When you see them come out, scare them off to push them back in. Air Slash and Hurricane are the other two choices you upgrade. I am not the biggest fan of Air Slash. You just push yourself back. I'd rather have Hurricane because it keeps them stationary so it can combo off with your Surf 
or dive. And again, when you, as you level up, you want to stick to comfortable. So I like Hurricane Surf. Just keep the distance and keep doing damage and get yourself wet. But you can also do Hurricane Dive. I just do not agree with Air Slash. That's, that's just my personal preference. Now, of course, when you get the point to Unite move, make sure it's a two on one or a one on one or even a three on one. You're in a spot where you can use it and then you run away after you're done because again, you're so stationary, you have to pray your opponents don't come near you or else they can capitalize you if they get too close to you. When the Unite moves over, you're a sitting duck. Pokemon to be afraid of. Obviously, Rangers are scary for Cramorant because of the fact that if a Ranger goes close to you, they have status ailments that can stop you from attacking and they can get closer to you over and over again. It's just a disadvantage of Cramorant because you don't have a move that does a burn or freeze or sleep. The other one that I'm scared of is actually Speedsters. So physical attackers, you shouldn't be too worried about. You just run back to your base and you have the advantage from distance wise. But Speedsters, again, they're f***ing campers. Be careful of those campers. Absol, Gengar, face. You, you gotta be careful of those guys, especially as a ranger, because the moment you don't realize them, they capitalize, they swoop you right, right off the bat. What Pokemon you want to partner up with? You want to go with a tank. Why? Because you can always help finish a tank's job, or you can start a tank's job and have them finish it. That's the key of Cramorant is to make sure you make physical attackers feel comfortable to do finishing blow or you help them get the finishing blow. Anyone with physical attacks, so even Speedsters, Tank, all of them will appreciate Cramorant. I just feel like a Ranger may be redundant and a supporter, sure it's okay, but again, Tanks and physical attackers benefit a lot more with Cramorant. Now, should you invest in Cramorant? for that many ales coin. If you like memes, yeah, sure, if you want to try it, but like, it's not going to be competitive because it's so situational. If you know how to use it and you know how to use it right, sure, anyone can be a master in anything. It's just, it's a very difficult curve where you gain comfortable with it and using it right. And especially with the items, they are so key. You want to have a fair battleground in order to use Cramorant properly because if the other opponents have more attack or more health, Cramorant setup takes a lot longer and therefore it's harder for you to, you know, take advantage of. I will also say, most people will not play Cramorant and therefore if you were to become the master of Cramorant, most likely most people will not play it and therefore you can always, you know, play your favorite because no one else will pick it. So that's one really shiny factor in my eyes. I still love Cramorant. I think it's adorable. I think Snoop Dogg had too much fun with it. But if you want to play as competitive, Give it a shot. In like a month or two after you got all the money. Oh, look, look, look. Okay, okay. I, 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 I'm trying. I, I, I said it recommend you in like a month or two. Come on. If you like this kind of video, remember to comment. Tell me what's the next Pokemon you want me to talk about. Again, I talk about Pokemon that are very unique. I don't think people would play normally. Uh, but I am going more towards the meta stuff after. So tell me which Pokemon you want me to talk about next. I'm more happy to talk about. Except for... I'm not going to talk about him.